A unique partnership is now underway to keep our lakes clean. The city of Orlando joined forces with the oldest nonprofit marine conservation group in the nation. West News Michelle Meredith puts the pieces to this environmental puzzle together. Along the shores of Lake Richmond, a small lake in Carver Shores, Orlando, a new partnership has formed. A partnership between the city of Orlando and the Ocean Conservancy, the oldest marine conservation nonprofit organization in the nation. You could call it the odd couple of sorts. Their shared goal? to help keep Orlando's lakes clean because what's happening in the lakes impacts what's happening in the ocean. Toxic water seeps into the water basin. Storms sling trash into the ocean. Public enemy number one, plastic. Plastic pollution is expected to increase in production worldwide more than it has ever been. Um, we're expecting to have more plastic in the ocean than there is life in the ocean. And so we wanted to figure out how to way to stop it inland where communities are using it, where we're using it. The plan? First, the Ocean Conservancy will do a study, get a fix on the source of pollution in Orlando, and then come up with possible solutions. Here are some examples of solutions cities took. Miami decided to install more curb filters to keep trash from flowing into their drainage system. Miami Beach decided to limit the amount of plastic cups used in concerts and shows. What's Orlando's stake in keeping it clean and green? And whether it's our tourism, really the driver of our local economy here, and services for our residents, we need to ensure that our local environment can serve not only the residents here in Orlando today or those who work and play in this area, but those for generations to come. For generations of all of Central Florida. In Orlando, Michelle Meredith, West 2 News.